In the beginning, before there was music, before there was sound, the master composer raised the pen to touch the cosmos with the eternal song. The music sang and pulsed and shimmered through the halls of creation. It vibrated the universe and moved the planets along their paths. The ancient melody swirled around the blue planet and whispered in the passing breezes and rolled with the ocean's breath. The music could be heard in every creature's call. The master composer wrote this music deeply on the hearts of humanity. Through the generations, prophets would give breath to the music. They dared to rise up and sing the melodies written on their hearts. But whenever they rose up, their music carried the same eternal message. Prepare! Prepare for the promised one. Prepare for the child of heaven, the prince whose name is Peace. Throw off your evil state and stand clean and ready. Rejoice in the day of the promised one's arrival. For when he comes, those who walk with no vision and struggle without strength will be restored with light and power and hope. Come and live.
As the time grew near, the sacred tones began to dance up and down the halls of heaven. The holy chords swelled and the music grew with a mighty crescendo. Its tempo quickened as angels tuned and prepared their songs. The eternal hourglass released its seconds and hours and years, and the time grew closer to send the redemption song to earth. But this time, it was not only the song that would be sent, but the very child of heaven. Angels lined the halls, ready to depart for earth. One by one they were dispatched as they went to whisper the music into the ears of humanity.
And so the moment came when the composer took heaven's son and blessed him and formed a seed wrapped with divinity, rich with immortality, acquainted with heaven, but ready to enter this world. The divinity seed was planted in the humanity of a woman. The coming together brought heaven and earth into unity. The nature of God was fused with the human heart and the fruit was completely perfect. And while this perfect union was not touched by the dust of the sinful world, the child formed by heaven and earth brought a holy presence to humanity's void. The eternal was wrapped in the temporal. Perfection was planted into imperfection. Power and omnipotence was fused, fused with frailty and vulnerability. But when this union was done, it was perfect. It was right. And the history of the blue planet began once more. The child's first breath produced a cry heard across the hay of the stable. The first cry of a newborn is a beautiful sound. All human ears will stop and listen to the song of a new resident of the earth, a new brother or sister of humanity. He sings in the most primal voice and calls out in protest as he enters the new world. But to the ones who receive him, the newborn song announces that all is well. Another precious soul has crossed from the safety of the womb to become a new resident of this world. Joyful tears abound as the newborn proclaims to all around him, I am here, I am safe, and I am alive.
Heaven's child was a beautiful sound to the ears of his mother. She surrounded him with warm, loving arms and blessed him with her adoring gaze and tender words of assurance. But outside their cocoon of quiet love and joy, the earth struggled under the injustice of domination, of power and enslavement. The world desperately needed to hear a new voice, a new song, even in those first days, the joy of the child's arrival came to those with open minds and hearts. And now today, those who will grow still and listen may hear the heavenly song and receive the peace and joy of the child, our Emmanuel. <laughs> 